Let Singong Temple, the earliest we could find some type of event going on here is 1874. Uh, it was used for years and then in 1949 it went through a $4,000 renovation and it was in pretty rough shape even in 1949. Uh, it's still a cultural landmark and I think it's odd that the sign on the side of it says Tenneco. And those of you who are old Bakersfield people, not me, remember the old Tenneco. And I, I wonder, if I, it's obviously not the same spelling, but it seems odd to me that it's a Tenneco painting, because I don't, I don't know if it's a family not or not. the same Tenneco, yeah. Tenoco. Tenoco? Yeah. Oh, Tenoco. There we go. So let's talk about the silver fox across the street there. Yeah, they sure do. No. Boy, they said it over and over again. The silver fox would like its sign back, and they're not going to get it. Okay? They, if they, the, the sign was donated to the museum by a family, and the current owners are not that family. So the chances of getting their neon sign back are zero, I would say. Is that a pretty good guess? Lori's standing right next to me, and if you don't know who Lori is, she's got the sign at the Kern County Museum. So it's a nice idea, it's a great idea. Um, the nice thing about having students doing searching, uh, and some of you have done some of your research yourself, the old Bakersfield Californians, you can read them. So I would assign kids different buildings in downtown Bakersfield. One of them was the Silver Fox. So what I look for is something I call a Genesis article. When did the business start? And three, I think three times the kids landed, first shot right out of the gate, hit, a, hit an article. So the nice thing about the advertisement in 1947, I think it is, for the building, is that the, uh, the Silver Fox has gives credit to the Bakersfield Neon Sign Company for making the sign. So we know that it was made locally. Uh, something that was common in the 40s was you'd see articles about opening of a business and you would have the, all the contractors congratulating them around that. So for those folks who do research, that's gold. Because you got everybody listed right there. Um, the Silver Fox, all that property next to it, there used to be a, uh, what, what was it called? A uh, Mason's? What was the building? Oh, uh, uh, oh. Kong Tong Masonic Temple? Yeah. In that area was the Bing Kong Tong Freemasons Temple. <laughs> and obviously that's long gone. So the, the two, that's kind of funny. Bing Kong Kong. Okay. The, the, the two areas, you had Old Chinatown and New Chinatown, you had two separate Tongs, and these are groups of rival groups uh, that would control each area, but they also had rivalry wars. So you had right here on this corner of 18th and R Street in 1917, you had a man murdered. And the police that came in couldn't figure out why the man was murdered. Well, it turns out the way the tongs work is that you could have somebody slighted in Fresno to belong to that same tong and they could kill a random person in another area to get revenge. And so the police often would say in Bakersfield, well, that's amongst the Chinese, we're not gonna worry about that. So you had several times in the 20s, you had what they called the tong wars. And they went up and down California through San Francisco, uh, Oakland, Bakersfield, Fresno. And it went on for quite a while before this was settled out. So let's walk down, and of course, obviously, we need to pay attention to crosswalks and cars. Uh, we're going to walk down to Q Street down there to the new China Cafe, please. <laughs> 